In this video today, we're going to talk about how do you build simple AI agents for free and in just few minutes. Before we jump into the video, you know what to do. Like and share so more people can see this. All right. The platform, the tool we're going to use is called Mistral AI. Here's the URL. It became really popular last couple of months. It's a free alternative to ChatGPT. Uh, but amazing platform and actually some of the things where I need to do some web search internet search I found Mistral to be a lot better than ChatGPT. Now what are AI agents? That's one of their features build on La Platforme. I think that's French pardon my French but if think of ChatGPT and then custom GPTs you cannot build so if you go to ChatGPT and then explore GPTs so and then try to create one you have to be on the plus plan so if you're not paying for chat gpt you cannot build the custom gpts anymore but that problem is solved by mistral ai and their ai agent so you can build agents for specific tasks i'll show you we're going to do a walkthrough uh, we'll build one step by step and i'll show you how to use one too so go to mistral.com and their lead chat or lay chat i don't know how to pronounce uh, this by the way if you do let me know in the comments let me know how do you actually pronounce this thing i'm going to call it lee chat for now um so sign up and then you're going to to build the ai agents we're going to click on build on la platform a and then it's going to take you to this interface right here really really simple create an ai agent use model instructions demonstration to create custom agents to deploy on lead chat so you're going to build the agent and then you're going to deploy that on lead chat which is their uh, mistral's chat gpt alternative and don't worry i'm going to show you everything to stay watch till the end uh, we'll have everything here so simple interface uh let me actually resize this so you can see it properly so we're going to build this uh agent one of the things I do a lot using ChatGPT or used to do a lot is I would have a lot of blog articles. I would want their Facebook posts or tweets created. So instead of writing the long prompt every single time, I can build a either custom GPT or AI agent in this case to, um, to get that done. So I don't have to write the prompt every single time. So first thing, what's the name? Uh, I'm going to just say social media post. Uh, description so whatever description you wanna from blog articles right different models here you can see uh, specialist models uh, these are generalist models so you can pick uh, one of these temperature is really interesting I don't think uh, chat GPT a custom GPT I don't think they have this feature maybe they, uh, maybe they've added it recently uh, but this allows you to control the randomness of your output and now instructions and this is where you are gonna input your instructions what do you want this agent to do so let me copy this and then we'll talk about this instruction or so obviously the more detailed uh, the better so for now what I'm telling this agent to do is let's do this you are a marketing expert you're amazing at writing tweets and Facebook posts so I'm assigning a role I'll give you a link of a blog article and you will create two different tweet variations, two different Facebook post variations. Uh, and then here are specific instructions. Use short sentences, simple English bullet points, use emojis and hashtags. Uh, and then here's a, I wanted to use PAS framework. That's problem agitate solution pre, uh, framework. That's one of the copywriting frameworks a lot of people use and I love it. Uh, don't use those words in the, uh, in the output and then format the output to be um, so it's easy to read use spaces so make it you know easy to read uh, thing and then if you scroll down I love this demonstration this is where you can input um, so for example if this is what I want this is going to be my input you can also put some example output so this is where you give the LLM platform a role which we did instructions which we did and then use some examples so I would say put some examples here add some examples here uh, I'll show you because I've built this agent already so I'll show you uh, in a second the agent that I built what type of instructions I gave it but simple 
So step one, name, step two, model, step, step three, select the randomness, step four, add your prompt or instruction, step five, add examples or demonstration. And then what you want to do is click on deploy. And there are two deployment clicks you have to do. One is right here, and I'm not going to do it because I've already built this agent. I'll show you in a second. Once you click on deploy, there's another click deployment on Lee chat that you have to do. So let me go back without saving. Here's the one that I've already built, a social media post agent. There's one I've built for email. This agent writes my weekly email newsletters. Uh, and then this agent is... Um, to create the Facebook post from links. So when I click here, so first of all, when you hit deploy, and then you're gonna see this option right here, deployment to lay chat. So make sure you click that too. So it becomes available inside your lay chat or uh, chat GPT alternative, right? So make sure there are two deployment clicks you have to do. Now let's uh, go through this social media post, name, model, temperature, Here's the same prompt that I showed you. One thing I wanna show you right here is, I, I, here's my example input, and here is my example output. So I gave it the output example that I want. You can, if you have more than one, you can do that as well. That's it. All right, now how do you use it? Once you fill everything out, hit out deployment, uh, and then select lead chat under deployment. Now, to use this agent, we're gonna click on this Lee chat, and then it will open their chat interface. It's similar to ChatGPT. Uh, there's Canvas feature, there's web uh, search, so make sure you turn that on. To use your AI agent, you're simply gonna use at symbol, and then your AI agents are available. And now, for this agent, I just have to give it the link of a blog article and hit enter, and it's gonna create some tweet variations uh, and then Facebook post variation. I think I asked it for two variations. So imagine how much time you are gonna save or I actually do save, because I used to write prompt in front of the blog article every single time, but I don't have to do it anymore. So here's a tweet variation. One, two, uh, let's look at the Facebook post. Yeah, let's look at the first is managing your business assets becoming a headache? Yes, because that blog article is about asset management solutions for buildings. So that's a really good hook. Uh, emojis, short sentences. And then I said, read more and add the link of the blog article. So here's that blog article. Ooh, let me go back, find it. Uh, let's look at the second hook. Are you losing sleep over asset security? That's awesome. So see how I actually used really good scroll stopping hooks. Uh, I'm really happy with the output. By the way, if you didn't see anything here that you don't like, um, one thing when I first created this, it was actually using the words problem, agitate, solution in the output. So I had to go back and add that into instruction that say, don't use those words, use the framework but don't use those words because then it's not going to be a natural reading uh, sentence or paragraph or a post. All right, so really, really cool. Let me show you the other agent that I've built. So I'm going to start a new chat and then right here, let's use my email agent and I'm going to say draft an email for this week. And I'm still working on this. I'm still like enhancing this or improving this, but I want to show you what's possible. This AI agent is going to create my weekly newsletter. It's going to have on the top, there are two sections. The first section is the AI tools. And then if you scroll down, the second section is going to be the news articles. So if anyone is in AI, I'm not using this right now because I'm still improving this, but you get the point. All this research I had to do manually, but no more. So if you have a business, a blog, use AI agents, call, uh, uh, build AI agents, and then call that AI agent weekly to build your email newsletter. How simple and useful is that? Look at this. <laughs> so the tool again is called Mistral AI, and you can start creating your, some people don't like when I use the word AI agents, but that's fine, whatever you want to call it, they call it AI agents, but they're like custom 
bots, custom GPTs that you can use to perform simple tasks that you would otherwise do repeatedly, but you'll have to use like long prompts, long instructions. You don't have to do it. You can just build a, an agent to get that done. Any questions, let me know before you go like and share uh, so more people can see this and I'll see you in this next video. Bye for now.